HQ Discussion Time episode 55. What's up, everybody? Hope you're all good. What's up, haters? I see you. Um, yeah, Blunted Alien Response. Shout out, Blunted. Uh, topic is freedom to fight to the death. Should people be allowed to fight to the death in an organised event? Are governments preventing an important freedom? This is a very difficult one. Um, the main thing for me is you have to know if that person... I think that they should have to have checks to see if they've got mental health issues before going ahead with an event like this. Um, obviously you know people that follow me on my channel, I'm a big fan of MMA um, and so I'm a big fight fan. Now martial arts, I mean a golden written rule for it is you shouldn't really be in it if you're there just to for selfish reasons like it's there for a respect it's to defend yourself and be the better fighter it's not to go out and kill someone um, so it's kind of barbaric if you want to fight to the death I don't think a lot of people would there's definitely people out there like in I'm thinking right now a lot of prisoners would do it um, and fight to the death but again you gotta I think you have to have checks in place before these events go ahead if they did go ahead because if they got mental health issues they're not really um, clear on what's the right thing for them I mean some of them may just be so miserable they don't want to be here anymore and if that's a passion that they like doing it's the best way to go out for them and I can understand it that way um, but you, again you got to think of what family they're leaving behind if they got kids uh, young kids, if they got a mother that's going to be there to support, or if they got a father, if it's women fighting, if they got a father that's going to be there to support, if they if that woman or bloke dies during the fight, um, there's a lot of things to take into account, and I think if you've got kids, it's a big it's a big decision to make. Um, obviously, you're going to clear it with the partner if they're not in prison and such, like. I can't see any partners out there being okay with someone fighting to the death. Um, and if you bring kids into that as well, it just makes it a whole lot more uh, emotional and, and tough to deal with. So, um, personally, I sway more towards probably not being for fighting to the death, but at the same time, Depending on your situation, if you're not with anybody, you haven't really got any family or kids, or then, and that's your only passion, then it's your choice. Um, at the end of the day, it's it's the individual's choice. It should be anyway. No state or anyone should be allowed to tell someone how to live their life and when they can leave the earth or leave their their vessel. Like I, I believe in spiritual. Uh, passing on and, and being spirits and stuff like that so um, leaving the body in a physical sense anyway so I feel at the end of the day it should be uh, down to that individual but it's very difficult I mean there's some sick people out there that would go to watch people fight to the death um, it's just very barbaric and it kind of seems like we're not in the Colosseum of the Rome days and, and like fighting to the death that way. Um, obviously people die every day getting sucker punched. They fall and, fall and hit their head on concrete and or the force of a punch depending on the person that's punched them, the size of them, etc. People do die. Um, but to have an event where you, you make money off it and profit from it it's kind of it's like the Hunger Games pretty much and I can't really see many people countries in the world that allowing that to go ahead because they would get all sorts of criminal activity prosecutions and, and all that shit against them so it's too much of a risk at the end of the day it should be down to the individual but as I said depending on their personal circumstances if they've got kids and partners or a partner they have to look after and stuff or they're a carer for their partner it's kind of selfish to go and leave them to die for something 
I think anyway. I mean, it depends on the circumstances again. I say this in most of my videos, but it does. Um, so yeah, that's my thoughts on it. Shout out Blunted, brilliant question. Um, I'm going to touch on, probably do a battle rap talk soon, because I haven't done one for ages, and I feel there's a lot of stuff going on with that. Um, so watch out for that dropping. And I don't want to fuck with the real ones.